Hi everyone, Happy New Year. If you're new to my channel, my name is Victor, and in this video, I want to showcase my dream desk setup. 2020 was an eventful year to say the least, but thankfully, I had the opportunity to reorganize my desk and finalize it in time for this video. A few months ago, I made a desk setup makeover video, and this is more of a continuation with some final touches. And with that said, let's jump straight to it. I'm gonna first start off with my desk. I have two desks connected to appear as two separate workspaces. My first desk is the Linman desk from Ikea with an Alex drawer. I've been using this desk for a few months now and it's been extremely sturdy despite holding up a good amount of things. I found this desk to be quite minimalistic with a ton of utility at a great price. And my second desk is the smaller Linman desk. Now I believe this is going to be the smallest one available and actually had two of them in college so I decided to keep one and upgrade the other for more workspace. The larger main desk is the one I use for schoolwork, leisure activities, and of course, editing videos. The smaller desk is used sparingly, but mostly when I need to review notes, study, or work from home. I would say having two desks is pretty extra, but because I already had two tables in college, I decided just to keep them both just for the extra space. Now over to my main desk, I'll start off with my equipment. I'm using a 2017 13-inch MacBook Pro with touch bar, and my monitor is the Acer Nitro VG271U. On the back of my monitor, I have a silver mounted monitor arm attached, and as a college grad student, this is probably one of my best value purchases because it saves space and keeps my desk neat and organized. One of the great things about having a monitor arm is that I'm able to adjust the height and the angle, but so far I haven't found the need to do so. On top of the monitor, I have a BenQ screen bar for optimal lighting because my classes are in the evening. I did an unboxing and review video for the screen bar and I didn't realize how essential it was until I started using it. The controls on the top allow me to adjust the brightness and the temperature. I tend to use a more yellow temperature because it's easier on my eyes, but I guess it's personal preference. Now for the designated keyboard and mouse. I'm using the Magic Keyboard 2 and the Logitech G305. I love how they're wireless and so far the batteries have held up. I was sick and tired of the cords, so thankfully I found a wireless set that looked great together. So after I redesigned my desk a few months ago, it was great for about the first day until I started to experience wrist discomfort. Immediately I knew I needed a wrist rest. That's when I researched and ultimately bought the one from Kensington. And honestly, it's been a lifesaver. I also got a leather desk pad from Etsy. The sellers offer embroidered initials, so I decided to get mine on there too. I think you can start to see a color theme going on with my setup. The chair that I'm currently using and I recently acquired is the Ergo Chair 2. This chair has been excellent so far and exactly what I was looking for. I'm aware of all the complaints as well as the compliments from the other users, but from my experience, so far so good. And I'll leave it at that. Okay, let's go over to my accessories. I have a Teltronics LED desk lamp and I can adjust the brightness and the temperature to suit my need. The desk lamp and the screen bar are great complements to one another because again, my classes are at night and I'm able to get the best lighting. Moving over to the top left corner, I have an artificial plant from Ikea. I'm currently in the process of replacing it with an LED light spirit tree that I recently ordered. Next to the plant is a Bluetooth speaker from JBL. Nothing too special about it, just a regular Bluetooth speaker. Now moving over to the other side of the desk, I have an Umbra Trig ceramic pencil cup. And like the monitor arm, the pencil cup is another great value purchase because it fits the color theme and is extremely convenient for when I need writing utensils for class or other activities. Of course, I have extra Clorox wipes and pictures. I have this calendar and I like this style of larger calendars because it allows me to write down important dates and deadlines. I'm a huge sports fan, but because of how the season went, I prefer not to talk about it. All right, so in the corner, I have a few drop front shoe containers for extra shoes and hats. And on top, I have gifts from college and souvenirs from my travels. I also want to give a quick spotlight to this diffuser. I think that's what it's called. This is my first one and I'm sure it's not gonna be my last. I think the scent is apple and I'm a huge fan. And on the wall, I have my college pennants, diploma and shadow box for my cap and stoles. So on my other desk, I have my work laptop. This tray from Amazon is my last best value purchase slash desk essentials because of how much I actually use it and how much time it saved me. I always place my car keys, wallet, and other important daily items so it won't get lost and I know exactly where I put them. 
And to wrap up this other desk, I just have my tools and my watches. On the back of my desk, I've attached LED strip lights from Insignia. There is adhesive tape on the back, so I'm just able to stick them onto the edges. This remote control allows me to select the color and the pattern. Next to my desk is where I fit all my files and my extra camera gear. So this is where I store my lenses, bags, chargers, and batteries. And this is where I store my hard drives and adapters. I like it here because it's right next to my desk rather than keeping them with my other camera gear. I'm still figuring out how I should organize my other stuff and I might look into storage cabinets on the wall, but I guess I'll find out when the time comes. Last but not least, cable management. On my desk, I use cable management sleeves from Johto to organize the cables and adapters. And underneath the desk, I use a cable management tray from Vivo to fit the extension cord and my charging cables. I think cable management is often overlooked and a few items such as a tray and a sleeve can transform your desk completely. I realize my cables are messy here, but that's the way I organize it because I'm constantly moving around and I need my chargers elsewhere. So I may even have to purchase a second set of chargers. And with that, the tour is complete. I'm really satisfied with how things turned out and I'm relieved to have a permanent finalized workstation. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Happy New Year.